everyone fit and available for this one first of all? Um, no. Um, at the moment, Kyle Lafferty's got a back spasm, um, so he's very, very doubtful. Lee Wallace, not available, got a muscle problem. Um, Eros Gresda, got a problem as well, he's injured, so them three, uh, where we are right now, won't be involved. With Alan suspended, does Waze come straight in? Yeah, I'll make that decision um, on Saturday. You know, We've got two good goalies vying for that position. Um, so we've still got 48 hours before we need to make that decision, but um, it's a shame Alan, Alan's not available. Um, he's been very consistent for us all, all season, made world-class saves. Um, he's worth a lot of points to this team and he, he's helped us certainly in Europe and in the other cup competitions. So um, it's a shame that um, he's not available, but thankfully we've got other good goalies to, to step in. The, the, um, the importance of winning this game, even though there's no positions riding on it. It's you know it's still one of the biggest games out there. How 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 much has that been emphasised this week? Or do you need to do that at all? Even though it's you know the dominant game this season. Uh, no, I don't think we have to emphasise it. I think all the players uh, are aware that um, it's a big game for the supporters, the rivalry, all the history that's gone before. Um, it doesn't matter when the old firms fall um, or what's at stake. It's always going to be a big game. Uh, we've recently watched under 18s and reserve games, and you know, right through both clubs, uh, this game's a, a huge fixture and one that we're all looking forward to. And um, the points are important because we want to fin finish as strong as we can and, and try and keep this run going. Mm. Is it important that this game sets the tone for next season as well? Well, to be honest with you, you know, after um, the last old firm, which we played really well in, and, and we felt as if we should have took something from from the game, um, I think we've obviously stressed the importance to try and finish the season as, as strong as we can, and, and really focus on this season. You know, there's plenty of time um, to reflect in the four weeks that we'll have off at the end and, and during pre-season, and we can worry about next season when we need to. Um, so the focus is on this game and this three points. We don't have to look any further forward than that. A lot of talking points from the last old firm game. Have you spoke to your players about obviously the discipline with the red cards in the previous game? No, but I think obviously the word discipline um, has come up a lot of times this season. Um, it come up in the last game as well. So um, the players are well aware of how I want them to play and how I want them to behave. Um, the last old firms in the past, I don't think we have to go back and, and talk about any of the talking points there. I think it's important to look forward to a new game, a new challenge. Um, you know, Celtic come as champions. Um, so, you know, we'll do everything we can um, to to do what we need to do to try and get three points. That's the only focus. We don't have to worry about the past really. You said, you've mentioned Celtic coming here as champions. There's been debate this week about whether Rangers will give Celtic a card of honour. What's your thoughts on that one? Uh, to be honest with you, my thoughts are not important uh, on that subject. Um, I, the club have made a decision on that and um, they've decided there won't be uh, a guard of honour, so I think my thoughts on it are irrelevant. I'll follow what I'm told to do uh, by the people that are in charge of the club. You were talking about discipline there. On Sunday you'd said that you know you would be open to advice from elsewhere to yeah, sort of deal with that of discipline. <laughs> <laughs> is that something that you've, you've gone out to, to seek or is that something that you will do? Listen, I, as manager of this team and, and manager of these players individually, I do everything I can to help them and support them. Um, but I think something as well, you know, they've got to respect the club, the supporters, what we're trying to achieve here. Um, they've also got to respect how hard the job is and the challenge uh, that other teams are setting us in the league. And they realise that it's very, very important, it's crucial, it's vital that we we have a, a level of discipline and we keep players on the pitch, important players. Um, I don't know the exact amount of games or minutes, but we've had too many good players missing for important parts of the season. And um, if we don't improve our discipline, um, I predict we could have a similar season to this season because there's no way you can be successful if, you, if your big players are missing for big games. Is it the same thing for you is that when you look back at the red cards that you've had this season, a lot of them haven't been for, say, footballing incidents. It's, mm. you know, violent conduct or it's, you know, top yeah, of the referees. Is that the thing that frustrates you the most? Yeah, I think, look, I think we, we want the players to be aggressive. We want them to compete. And at times we understand that, you know, you will get a double yellow and... Throughout the season, you might get a couple of red cards where you go, okay, 
you know, maybe we were a little bit unlucky there, but the red cards that we have and uh, we have had, the majority of them are un un unacceptable. Um, and it's frustrating as a manager to keep talking about discipline and, and certain individuals in the press. So it's down to them players to sort themselves out and behave differently. Um, but I say that, you know, I, I love players that play on the edge. I love players that give it all and that go out there and compete and fight. But you've got to try and challenge it in the right way. You said last week you tend to reward loyalty. You show loyalty when you're rewarding players in the team, stay in the team, is Jermaine's performances make it increasingly difficult to, to even consider dropping him even though Alfredo's available again? Well I think your questions to try and make me to confirm or deny who's going to be leading the line for me in an old firm match which won't be happening. Um, I think you'll see 90 minutes or 60 minutes before the game what my team selection is. Um, the truth is that people are pushing for to play. Um, the players have been consistent of late, um, which does make it more difficult to take players out. You know, if players are performing well and they're consistent. Um, it is difficult to, to make changes, but what we do need to have is people pushing. Um, and the people that are in the 11 or have been in the 11 lately um, need to do everything they can to try and keep hold of the share for two games. But these performances from now to the end of the season, you remember them going into next year as well. So they're two important games and players need to play well. How crucial could Stephen Davis's experience be now that he's, he's back playing his best level as well, if, 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 he, if he is selected? He's trying to get me to confirm <laughs> Davis as well. <laughs> Stephen Davis has been um, excellent um, in the last period of the games. I think now he's 100% fit and sharp. You can see him running football matches um, for us. He obviously got a, a very important assist at the weekend, but I think his all-round game was strong. Um, he's sharp, he's covering a lot more ground, um, he, he's, he's aggressive, he's happy, he's confident um, and that type of Stephen Davis obviously warrants a team in, in the 11, whatever game's coming up. Um, I think he was man of the match at the weekend and rightly so. Um, so, imagine if I didn't play him. Stephen, your recent round form is impressive, can you pinpoint the reason behind it? Um, I think we had a good re reaction from, from the old firm. Um, I think players have took responsibility for their own performances. I think across the board, everyone's performing well. Um, I think we found a way of playing that suits us and suits the players that have been uh, picked in the, in the start 11s of late. And winning games breeds confidence and belief. And um, the players are tuned in to what we're trying to do, how we want to play in and out of possession. And I think we're getting the rewards for that. Do you think pushing Arfield out wide has benefited your team? We haven't pushed them out wide. Do you, Stephen, do you feel that the reaction off the back of that Old Firm game in, um, in March could have been, it could have dragged the players down having lost the game given what was at stake? The, the fact that the players have kicked on and got these results, is, what do you think that says about the character of the players here? Well, I think if you look a little bit deeper than that, I think from half time, um, in the game with, with 10 men, the players were excellent. The players done everything they could in that 45 minutes to take something away from the game. Um, and the players, even though we lost the game, we gave them a lot of praise for the 10 men that were left on the pitch, a tough place, a big pitch against a good team. To roll the sleeves up like they did and perform like they did, I think we actually took a lot of confidence away from that, that old firm. And um, that's basically just snowballed. Uh, the confidence and belief snowball from there and we've been very good. Now we need to take um, our form and, and, and try and find another performance in the old firm because it'll be a, um, another big challenge for us, a difficult challenge because it's a good team we're playing against. The, the cliche in derbies is that form sometimes goes out the window but invariably the team that's in form wins these games. Does that give you more confidence, even if you if it didn't have it already? We're going in with, with confidence. Um, I agree with the cliche in terms of form in derbies, through my own experiences as a player. Um, but, you know, whoever turns up on the day and plays the best normally um, wins the football match. So we need to make sure that we're right at it because I think our performance against Hibs, with all due respect, doesn't win an all firm. Um, so that's the reason why. You know, I was slightly frustrated with the performance against Hibs. Yeah, we won the game, we kept a clean sheet, but that level of performance doesn't win you an all firm. That intensity doesn't win you an all firm. Sports, Stephen, that you've offered a deal for Edson Mix, the defender in France. Is that, would that be correct? Are you confident you can get out of the line? 
No, um, I think you've probably seen the picture in the, in the public domain. I went to watch Rennes v Monaco to analyse a lot of players on the pitch. Um, bumped into numerous players after the game and was asked for a picture. Uh, I think people are putting uh, a lot of speculation out there and stuff. We are looking for centre-backs. Mex is a good player, but um, what I'm led to believe is he'll be playing his football in France next year. Don't take that as facts, that's just what I'm hearing through the grapevine. But he is a good player who we admire. You certainly feel you need numbers in that area with Joe, his loan spell ending and Gareth's contract I believe is up at the end of the season. Yes, the, that's an area where we'll have to get some um, some bodies in you. Yeah. That's an area that we're looking to um, replace and, and strengthen. Connor, what has been said amongst the players after the back of the, the last meeting with Celtic in terms of, I guess, how close you feel you are to them now? Not much, obviously, in the last old term, we knew that we performed well, especially in the second half. I feel like we were very, probably reactive in the first half um, to what they were throwing at us, but I think in the second half we was proactive on the front foot and it was one of those where we had nothing to lose and since then, obviously, we've gone on a good run, so we were all just looking forward to the game and we're going into it with confidence. That run that you've been on, what do you feel has been the best aspect of it? From your point of view, I mean, obviously the defensive record has been excellent. Yeah, from my point of view, yeah, obviously we're keeping clean sheets and we're looking solid. We're not conceding many shots on our goal, and uh, I think the only one we've conceded is the Hearts game away from home. So we've been strong in that area, but at the other end of the pitch, we're scoring goals as well. So when you have a good blend of both of those, then it's a recipe for success. I'm guessing the confidence in the squad must be really high with how the, the last few performances have been. Yeah, it is, and as the gaffer said, when you're winning games of football, that you just want to keep playing and go into every game feeling confident and feeling like you're never going to lose. What did the game in December do for you know belief in the squad? Did it you know the team that had such a difficult spell against Celtic last year? Did it, did it sort of dispel all the sort of fears that may have sort of still lingered on about facing Celtic? Uh, I don't know because at the same time we're a new group of players and. A lot of the players haven't been here for that many years where they've obviously suffered defeat against Celtic but in every old firm you know you're going to play against a good side and you know you're going to have to be at your best and I think on that day on the 29th that we was at our best and we managed to win the game so that just shows us the team that if you want to win an old firm then that's the standard that you've got to play to. As an experience, what did, how did that day rank to international shootings being through in your career? Yeah, it was up there, it was a great day. Um, obviously going into the break we knew it was a massive game for the club. But I've enjoyed all the old firms and um, even though the results haven't always been great, I feel the the team's performing well and hopefully if we can get another top performance this weekend then we can get three points. Who do you think Nicholas done since come back into the team? He was, he was very impressive on Sunday against Hubs. Yeah, he's done really well. Um, he's settled straight back in, he's looking confident again. He's looking the player that he was at the start of the season. Um, feel like he's calmed down and he's just playing his own game, not being worried or nervous about having to impress and I feel like he's just playing his own game and when he does that he's a top player. Stephen, I touched it at the top, how was your emotions on Tuesday night and <laughs> since? Uh, I, I, just, I just think it confirmed to everyone how big the, the Champions League uh, competition is. Um, it's, a, it's a mega competition, I've an experienced it as a player. Um, it's the ultimate, and I think the last two games over the last 48 hours have confirmed that. Um, I mean, the nerves on Tuesday night at Anfield for myself personally uh, was difficult to control. I had to leave a 4 0, even though I had my seven year old daughter. I used that as an excuse, but it was more the nerve side of it. Um, so, God help what the players were going through. Um, and then yesterday, obviously, Spurs. Um, I mean, what a performance from Spurs. Um, and just to see. The emotion and the reaction from Pochettino, I think it shows what football means to everyone. I just think both games were a great advert for for, for European football, and um, you know what a final uh, to look forward to. Um, but very very quickly, we have to swing back into uh, obviously Rangers mode, and uh, my focus and priority now is to get this team ready to perform in a, in a big old firm at the weekend. Um, but if players are looking for motivation and inspiration. Um, and the feeling of winning, winning a big football match. Hopefully they watch the last two games because um, it was absolutely brilliant to watch. Sensational stuff. I can't believe you left. <laughs> well, I just don't think I would have been able to cope with the 
uh, seeing either Coutinho or Suarez or Messi just break my heart, you know. Um, I used, as I said, my seven-year-old, she had school the next day. Um, beat the traffic and get out of there before it goes wrong. And just remember the good stuff. How, how do you cope as a manager then in some of circumstances when you're seeing I think it's team? different. I think it's different. Obviously, you prepare yourself as a manager for big games and you've got all week, you, you, you drill your team on your game plan and stuff and you go in, you're, you're ready and you fire yourself up. Um, you go to these games relaxed and then all of a sudden... Um, a dream starts brewing um, and, and and snowballing and you think, oh, wow, at 1-0 I was thinking, oh, if we get one more goal, this is game on and then it comes and then obviously you, you get over the line and you think, oh, there's still time left and the amount of quality players on the pitch is just too much for me I to go. So you see the, the Liverpool support and the way that they crave success mm. for the club, do you get a similar feeling from the Rangers support here that and, and see and you know, think about how they're going to react when I think I think it's very here. similar. I think the emotion and the passion, yeah, the passion from Ibrox and Anfield is very similar. Um, I think as as a fan and an ex-player, that's probably the best atmosphere I've seen at Anfield. Uh, it took me back to Chelsea when we scored the the Luis Garcia goal. It took me back to Olympiacos, them big European nights that I experienced myself, and um, it also took me back to the old firm atmosphere. Um, the rapid Vienna, the last 15 minutes there, and um, I hope, you know, as a, as a manager of this team and this club, I experience more big nights uh, because Ibrox, alongside Anfield, is a special arena for football, and it's mine and the players' responsibility that we give these fans some good times. Um, so that's the plan. Um, but obviously, being in amongst that atmosphere at Anfield, it, it, it took me. It reminded me of how good and how special it would be here if we can give these fans some success.